<laughs> no way. Oh, mate. Forgot to order me some of that. So, our batteries reviews. Yeah, I saw that and it just had to be done. When things seem a little bit too weird and wonderful, your boy Jigs has always got to review it. So, let's get to it, shall we? It has to be done. So, I've only ever had one type of dead man's finger before. Dead man's fingers. Um, I had the original when it came out. Um, I think it was like a whole bottle like this size was like eight quid when it first came out. It was like a trial thing, so I bought one. And I'll be honest, it made me feel quite sick. Um, I don't know why, it just didn't agree with me. So, of all their 15 or so wonderful varieties they've got, I have not had another single one of these. But, I've got this one. So, as you can already see, it's got the old kernel on there, which the Sanders. It is Dead Man's Finger with KFC, so 11 herb and spiced rum. Uh, secret recipe. So that's what I thought when I saw this. I was thinking, the Colonel's recipe is supposed to be secret, so why is he sharing it with some pirates? But there we go, these things. Unless they've just blend. Oh, I don't know, I really don't know. I thought it was a big secret, so um, why, how this has come about, I don't know. But anyway, so Cornish Soul, secret recipe. We do things differently here, a finger licking. Good combination of spa by the Colonel's 11 secret herbs and spices and our dead man's fingers spice rum. Enjoy with cola and a bucket of the good stuff. This is not your casual, this is Cornish soul meets Kentucky zing. Let's just get into it anyway, shall we? Um, is there some perforation? Yes, there is. So I've actually got some, um, if you've watched my videos, you know that I'm not much of a lemonade drinker. It does say drink with cola. I tend to go for Pepsi, I'm a Pepsi guy. Um, so I've got some Pepsi Max in the fridge and I'll do a little bit of that as well, if I can get into this bloody thing. It shouldn't be this hot. We're in. We're in. Yeah, we've got a little skull on top, KFC along the side. <laughs> it's, just, it's just random, isn't it? It's so random. But you've got to love stuff like this. So here we have a little rum. Whoa. I don't know about the kernel, but it's blooming caramelly. It's really caramel butterscotch. A bit of zest in there as well. A little toffee. It's all the like the it's all the sweet sugared things. I mean, I could have had an AB with a drumstick here, but I didn't. Um, I didn't think to buy any KFC and try it. It's just all. It's really sweet. Yeah, I was getting all caramels and all them sort of things. Toffees, butterscotch, butter. Yeah, it's very, very sweet. It's very gloopy. Did you do the AV, did they? Yeah, AV, 37.5. Um, yeah, yeah. More alcohol than a hot wing, I suppose. Well then. <laughs> Weird. Weird. So it's got the standard dead man's finger taste, but yeah, they're really savoury. Mm. It's got a bit of a burn as well, like it goes to the roof, it's burning the roof of the mouth the second you have it. But then trying to recreate the hotness of some chicken in your mouth, I don't know. But yeah, it's very brown sugar, molasses sweet. And then you do get the spices. Um, 
It doesn't taste exactly like some, the skin off a chicken leg or chicken wing or chicken thigh or chicken breast, whatever you've had, but yeah, it's there and about. Mm. When you get, I'm getting that false, getting that real ethanol, like fake artificial sweetness smell as well, like right? more going back to it, which is what I got a lot from the original Dead Man's Finger, which is why I never bought another one, but I mean, the amount of flavors there, I've got the episodes for fucking days doing, I did all their bottles of this, but um, not a big fan, and I say I'm still not a big fan. Obviously, I've brought this for novelty's sake more than anything, because who wouldn't want that piece of classy bottling sat on your lovely array of Lefroy's and Arbex? Because you know, you read things and then your brain gets taken over, but obviously, I know what this is, so I feel like I'm getting like chicken skin now. My brain's just going to all weird places. I'm not gonna lie, it's not great. I didn't expect it to be. But let me get some drip of Pepsi. Let's cover it up and see if that's any better. So you know you get the, um, it's made this cola, Pepsi, taste exactly like them Curiosity colas that you get. It's made it taste all like, you know, Fentman's and all them want to do like the sort of old fashioned style cola. It's made it taste like that. And it's flattened it massively. It does taste more like spices now as well. Yeah, for me it's definitely a it's definitely a mixer. It's definitely a mixer. But yeah, there we go, novelty over. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you soon on another Duke's reviews. Um, and if it's alcohol, I hope it's a little bit better than this one. Sayonara.